it's all about canvases. There are different styles of canvases to suit different mediums like acrylic and oil or watercolors. And we're diving deeper into canvases for acrylic painting, which comes in a variety of options like stretch canvas, canvas panels, canvas paper, canvas pads, um, canvas rolls, so you can stretch them yourself. So let's walk through some of these together and my, I'll share my experience using them. I'll also share my tips on what to look for when buying canvases. And I'll answer a question from a follower who wonders what type of canvas I use and if I prefer a textured ca uh, canvas or a smooth surface for my pet portrait paintings. Let's start with the budget-friendly canvas paper and canvas pad. And in my early 20s, I started using canvas pads, which are wonderful for planning out a painting, for practicing techniques, and for simply having fun and just playing around with your colors. And at the same time, they are high quality enough to look professional. The texture is great. It's a, like a sheet of real canvas. It's substantial depth to the sheet and that you can sell the art as well. I used it for many years and sold several paintings using the canvas pads. It's a cotton sheet primed with gesso and ready to be used. I sold mine as is or framed flat. Now there are also canvas paper like these two, which are great if you're just starting out. For example, I recommend the Canson XL to the people who are taking my eight day painting challenge. It includes 24 sheets of acid free paper with a canvas like texture, but it's a little bit smoother surface than the canvas pad. And this is a convenient, affordable option and it's ready to use with your acrylic paint. If you want an even smoother surface, try this 400 series. The paper is thinner though, so if you are thinning it out with water or another medium, then the paper may bulk up. But it's a beautiful texture, the paper is thicker, and I think you're going to have a lovely time using this. Paper pads and canvas pads are a must have for beginners and any painter really. I definitely have these on hand. They're great to grab if you're going on trips, if you want to challenge yourself to painting, for example, a set number of days in a row or, or a specific subject over and over, or just playing with colors and having a joyful time with the cup of tea, you know? It's a great budget-friendly student option. Worthy mentions are canvas panels and canvas rolls, and you can find out more about them in my free top secret list of acrylic art supplies. I'll leave a link in the description below. But quickly, canvas rolls think fabric rolls sold by the yard, and they allow you to cut to size, and, and canvas pa panels are hard and rough and, and, and th very, very thin, and they're often used for plain air. All right, we're moving on to my favorite, stretch canvases. My personal favorite is a stretch canvas, particularly a one and a half inch depth with the profile. But they come in different profiles from, you know, under an inch to over two inches. This one has a medium texture and it's stretched tight, but it has a little bit of a give when I paint on it. While it's not as budget friendly, there are different price ranges for stretch canvases. But I just love that it's ready to hang on the wall and it will create an instant impression for the viewer. And that's why I really enjoy this canvas for the presentational value and how I feel when I paint on it. If you prefer, you can experiment using canvas pad or paper before doing the final study on a stretch canvas like this. You know, it can feel a little daunting. So if a stretch canvas feels like a big investment or you're nervous ahead of painting, you know, you can use the canvas pad or a paper to practice on. And then when you're confident in your artwork, 
that you've been practicing, you can do the final study on the stretch canvas for that wonderful presentational value. And the canvas pads and paper come in different sizes, so you can easily find the same size as your stretch canvas, so you can do the same scale. I want to show you the backs of these two canvases. Let's start with Foster. This is so neat and beautiful on the back, and it hangs tight against the wall because there's no bulkiness. All that bulkiness of the extra of the extra canvas have been tucked in. But if you look at this one, and this is a finished portrait of Tasha, you'll you'll see that the corners have been tucked, folded, and tucked in, and there's all this extra canvas fabric, and that is so that with time you can actually restretch this this painting on the same size stretcher. And this is the stretcher. And it comes with these keys so you can put them in in the corners. And they are great because they're keeping the tension tight and you can retighten that so it's tighter with time because you don't want to have a weak canvas. You want to ha keep it tie uh, tight uh, through the life of the painting. And I've used this type of stretch canvas for over a decade. And I love the experience of using this medium texture stretch canvas, how it feels when I paint my proven process for my pet portrait, and of course, the results it gives me. All right, so what do you look for when you're selecting your canvas? Well. You want to stick with archival materials such as acid-free gesso, 100% natural cotton, for example, because it lasts a long time. And of course you want your, if you're painting pet portraits of these beloved fur companions, you want them to last for generations. You want to invest in a quality canvas, but you, of course you want to stay within your budget. And as you expand as an artist, you can spend your allowance on new materials to give you more well-being feelings when you paint, because it's truly worth it. It, it just brings you so much more joy when you, when you have tools that you enjoy working with. And here's a little bonus tip. If you invest in a better quality canvas, your brushes will last longer. So you'll save uh, the life of the brush if you spend a little bit more on the quality canvas. Find the texture that you enjoy painting on. I like a medium texture for my portraits because I paint in many thin layers and I love that the texture sh shines through in the end. But you have to be careful with texture. If you're painting commissions of realistic pet portraits, for example, and you accidentally paint um, Tasha's right ear thicker, and suddenly the texture of the canvas no longer shines through, but it does in the other areas, well, that's gonna look a little off to the viewer and your commission client and interrupt their emotional response to seeing and enjoying their beloved fur companion on your portrait. Don't choose the canvas or any other tool or material with your ego. Choose the canvas so it fits your purpose and your budget. I choose my material from my heart. You know, maybe you need it to be portable, budget friendly, or easy to ship across the world. And these are things to take into consideration when investing in a canvas. Then with time, you'll find what works best for you and what you find are most enjoyable painting with. I always choose based on how the tool feels in my hand, whether it be a canvas or a brush or the palette, and also from a conservational standpoint. You know, these pet portraits are in memory of beloved pets who have passed away. And hopefully they become heirlooms and will be handed down through their generations. So for me, it's important that I use archival uh, products, material, that I know that the canvas itself, the stretcher, all that stuff will last for a long, long time. 
Another aspect that's important to think about is the environment, which is why I'm a little curious about trying a different type of canvas soon, which the stretcher is made from a sustainable from sustainable forests in the US, and I promise I'll keep you posted on that. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about canvases, and I would love to know what canvas you enjoy uh, painting with. So leave me a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more from the studio.